<laughs> I, I just want to stop unboxing now and see what those are worth. <laughs> Welcome back to another Family Flips unboxing. Today we have something a little bit different. We have jackets. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. And I'm excited about it. We Last week we went online and and the lots didn't have a lot of stuff, so I was looking at stuff that we can buy, and I saw these jackets, and I couldn't help but buy them because it's fixing to get super cold outside, winter is coming, and there's some pretty expensive jackets in here. Uh, yeah, I'm super, super excited. So what we have here is we got one box of women's jackets. We've got about nine of those. Yeah. And then one box of men's jackets. We have about 13 of those, okay? So we paid $625 for the men's lot. We paid $225 for the women's lot. That together plus shipping got us all in at $850, which is about $38 an item, which yeah. is bigger, but these it are also is. higher value. Oh, I'm really, really excited to jump in. Yeah. So without further ado, let's do this. Who's first? I think you should just go first because it doesn't matter if we're going to win paper, rock, scissors. We do that. I'm going to let you go first anyways. I was drawn to this one because it's obviously a really bright color. Uh, Dopanzi. That's unique. It is. I, it's, yeah, it is. It's kind of like a windbreaker jacket material. Yeah. Um, so that's actually. That is very unique. Very unique. Very cute. It's that is pockets. unique. That's going to sell. Like, that's a very stylish, unique... These are unique... faux pockets. Faux pockets. They're but... fake pockets. Is that what that faux means? Yeah. Faux means not real. Okay. So there's that one. And if any of you guys ever see these jackets and you're just like, oh, I really, really want that one, yeah. do make sure you check out the link down below. We do yeah. have a link to our store yeah. where you can find all of the jackets that we have listed from each unboxing um, to make it easier for you to shop. Yeah, and we'll have a specific collection link that will show just these items. And there's other links that you can check out too. So I think you may have got the dude's one. That was a dude's jacket? Yeah. Yeah, you got the men's box. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then you got the women's box. Unless you want to swap. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty fluffy looking. Is yeah. It fluffy? It's like a. Yeah, it's furry. Like a sweater jacket. Oh, the suspense. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's one. What are they called? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, it's like a cloak yeah. type thing with some faux. Uh, oh, that's cute. Yeah, I know. I was. It's got a little that. hood, little like little yeah. arms. Does this come? Yeah, it's say it's sewn together, but that's Size, really cute. Um, Maybe it's on this one here. 20% wool, 20% acrylic, 60% polyester. But I don't see, it's probably a one size. Okay. These ones right here are usually one size I because gotcha. they don't. That's cute. That is really cute. But you took my dude's box. Hey man. <laughs> the box was in front of me. I, I know, I did it, I did it, it was my bad. This one says Mustang on it. It's like a windbreaker material. It's actually a really nice. It's a really nice material. Yeah. I would not be surprised if this cost some money. Um, what uh, Rain resistant. Let me show you guys what that looks like. It doesn't have a hood. It's just a simple jacket, but it really does feel really good. Sweet. So I'm losing labels in here. Well, don't do that. I know. Size medium. Medium. Do you need that? Yes, I do. All right, so I've got Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex? Well, that's what it we'll is. You know, it's that windproof oh, material. Yeah, yeah. Put their own stuff, dude. I know. I'm sorry. Ooh, that feels nice, too. It's a Marmot. Ooh. Marmot? The, yeah, the MSRP on that sucker. Look at that. What is it? I haven't seen it. 189, sorry. Wow. <laughs> I showed y'all and I didn't tell her. <laughs> But I like that I jacket. I knew it. I could, yeah. I could feel the material feels really nice. Yeah, marmot really jacket. Nice. And, uh, it's got a hood. Yeah, it's a size large. So 
It's my size. Yeah, my it size. is. But we're too cheap for that. Yeah, I would not wear you're that. You're gonna see the price and you're like, ah, no thank you. All right, I've got this one here. Prima Loft, feel the performance. Under Armour. Yep. Which Under Armour is a very nice brand. Yeah. Um, so we like that. Oh, this is nice. <gasps> I like it. It's a little, it's like a, it's got like, what kind of material is it? It's like a spandexy feel here, but then this right here is like a really nice, yeah. almost like padded, like those padded vests. That is cool. This is really, really nice. What like, size is that? I don't know. It's, I mean, it looks too small for me. It's fitted, size medium. Medium. I don't know any guys that are size medium. I think yeah. my brother would even wear something like this, but this is really nice. It's not his size though. Yeah, I What like size that. is he? I think he would be a small. He wears things very fitted. Yeah, he does. He's tall and skinny. That he is. That's a big one here. Orle. Oh, Orle. Yeah. Orle, Orle. It's a thick and long down jacket with Ooh, hood. Oh, that's going to be warm. Yeah. See, I like warm things, but I don't like poofy things. So, wow, that's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah. It's very long. Very long. Got pockets. It's got a hood on it. Or a lay. I'm trying to see if there's a size. This is. These are nice jackets. Like yeah. I was not expecting the quality. Size medium. Medium. I, mean, I was not expecting. I was because we pay thirty eight dollars a jacket, so it better be some high quality. Well, stuff. yes, but I just didn't expect. Yeah. I guess in my head, I wasn't expecting like the material to be so nice. Yeah. I mean, I think that's also you know. Um, I don't know. As in a say. Yeah. Forgot. It left exactly. Me. Let's you know? check some prices. Okay. You know, I'm starting to wonder that maybe it's a good thing that I'm doing men's jackets and he's doing women's jackets because we won't feel the need to keep any of these because <laughs> some of these are looking really great. I'm actually really pleased with the first uh, few items that I've gotten. Um, so the first one I want to show you is this one right here. This is that Mustang uh, jacket, um, size medium. So this one right here, I couldn't find. I do have a screenshot of it showing unavailable uh, on Amazon. So what I did was I looked on the uh, manifest. The manifest is saying it's like $20, but the MSRP was like $54.99. So that seems comparable for the jacket and jackets that I've seen. Um, so I found a similar one that has sold on eBay, similar material, similar build. Um, and so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this for $49.99. Uh, and we'll be happy with about $35 if we can get that out of this one. Um, so not bad. Um, and then this one right here, this nifty thing right here, I did find on Amazon. I don't even know how to pronounce the title of it. Dop, 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 yes, I I'm not sure. But it's selling for $35.99, so we'll do the same. Uh, hope to get $25 for it. Um, all of this will ship first class mail, so shipping, calculating shipping is fairly easy. Um, it's just a little bit harder to look up. And this guy, uh, this guy was kind of an enigma for me because it's Under Armour, so I know the brand, I recognize the brand, I love Under Armour, um, I just don't buy it for myself because I'm cheap. But uh, Under Armour I know sells for a lot. I actually, when I was looking at it, I found the MSRP tag, which said it was $149.99, um, which makes sense. But the manifest said it was worth $13, so I was like, mm, don't think so. I couldn't really find it anywhere else. I found it unavailable on Amazon. I tried Google Lens. I tried a lot of things. I just can't find this particular jacket, which you're going to find when you, the UPC is going to include a size. So if you can't, it's not going to even show you other sizes because they have different UPCs. So what Joe and I have decided is that we're going to sell this uh, for $99.99 online. I think it's a fair price. It's brand new condition. Um, and hope to make $70. So uh, my three jackets together were already totaling $120 and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So this little home yeah, little home yeah. <laughs> that's the brand, home yeah. <laughs> home yeah, see? It is a home, home yeah. yeah. Uh, I couldn't find this exact one on eBay, uh, the brand. There is one very, very similar style. It's selling for 86 or it's listed for $86.99 on eBay. Uh, it hasn't sold yet or it hasn't been sold, but there's been a lot that have been sold of this style. Like there's 
hundreds and hundreds that have it sold of this style. Yeah. Uh, and then on Amazon, uh, it was listed when it was listed there. It was listed at $79.99. So we're going to just price ours at $69.99 and should make $50 profit on it after it does shell, sell, not shell. Because I was, I was thinking shipping was the next word I was going to use. Uh, this one, it, it weighs probably right at a pound. I think all my jacket, except for the Marmot, uh, will ship, could ship first class, but the Marmot, let's talk about that one. <laughs> so the Marmot jacket, there are two that are listed on eBay that are coming from Australia that are priced at $226.58 plus like 20 something dollars shipping, right? Um, yeah, it's an expensive jacket, very expensive jacket. There are other Marmot jackets that are that have sold just not this style, uh, but they're selling for a lot of money. It's just the brand name. Uh, so we're going to price ours at $224.99. Uh, I'll take any offer over like 200 bucks, uh, and if that's that case, we'll make about $175. But I'm not going to ship it first class mail because it costs so much. If it was like a $50 jacket, I would ship it first class mail because it does weigh under a pound. Uh, but yes, $175 potential profit. That's crazy. I know, right? And then the Orole jacket, it's actually, uh, hey, it's actually, there's been several of these sold. Uh, there's one that has sold it has like the white right here. This is the black one. There's one with the white that sold inside for $130 on eBay. Uh, when they were listed on Amazon, they're listed like $109. We're gonna go ahead and price ours for $99.99. Uh, hopes to make $75 That's a good profit. Deal for a down jacket. Yep. Uh, because it will be shipping first class because of the size, but it shouldn't cost more than 10 bucks to any region of the United States. So my total potential profit, I win $300 round one, but $420 total. So we are like already halfway to paying for this whole lot and we've still got a couple more rounds to go. I got- <laughs> You're all furry. I'm all fuzzy from- uh, Now y'all know, it makes a little bit of fur. I know. I mean, eventually I think it'll stop, but- Yep. Okay, I'm going. You're going. I'm ready. I'm excited about these. I these know. are like, I thought this would be exciting to unbox because of the, like the numbers. Like there's so much money in here and there's not a whole lot of items. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It's very poofy. Very poofy. Very, ooh, this is nice. And it's an Arcteryx, which is a very oh. good brand. Oh, it is a very good brand. Um, I just don't know how much this one costs. So yeah. we'll have to see. This is like one of those marshmallow jackets, but it's really not very yeah. thick. It feels super warm though. Um, yeah. But I, I, I'm familiar with this brand being um, a high-end brand. It's very hard, um, high-end. So we'll see, we'll see about that. I'm excited, I can't wait to see what that's worth. All right, I have it. Wow, another, another marmot jacket. You can see that one there. Ooh, like it's the got red. $100 MSRP on it. And it's a lighter weight jacket. And uh, I like that red color. Yeah. That's a pretty, it's like it's a like very a, vibrant red, almost like, an, like a little oh, tint yeah. of orange it's on it. It's a size small. So. Oh yeah. More like a rain jacket yeah. maybe. Very nice. Sweet. Zipper pockets. That's awesome. I like yeah. it. It's like a little windbreaker. Windbreaker rain jacket. Wind, windbreaker. 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 Windbreaker niner niner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one is a gerbing. 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 G e r b i n g. Yeah. Gerbing. Gerbing. Um, it's red and black, which I love that color combination. It's heavy. Oh wow, that's a heavy jacket. It's like double layered or something. Yeah. It's very sturdy. It's weird on the inside. Like it's a. Uh, it's got like a liner. It is like a liner on the inside. It feels like a bomber jacket almost, yeah. kind of. But it's got like, and it's got lots of hidden zippers. I'm feeling all the hidden zippers. And Size large. Yeah, this is my, this Trying is... to see if there's any, anything on there. He's got an MSRP to get a sneak peek. Maybe it's a motorcycle jacket or something. A 12 volt plug-in gear guide. What? Uh, I, it plugs in? Well, I guess, uh, I have no idea. Let's show them that. 
Somehow it plugs in. <laughs> well, I guess there's like wires and stuff that you can, uh, accessory plug-in, glove plug-in. Oh, what that, is it for? I guess maybe it's a heated jacket <gasps> that it heats up. That would That's make it. Sense. Yeah. The microwire system is the most durable and efficient thermo technology platform ever developed. Products incorporating microwire technology utilize patent patented micro-sized stainless steel fibers interwined and encased in a proprietary waterproof coating. Microwire heating technology is used both in Core Heat 7 and Core Heat 12 thermo thermal velocity systems. That's wow. crazy. Okay, so, so this is a heated jacket. That is crazy. I didn't even know they made those. That's neat. That's what we were filling inside was a little like... The wires. Yep. Yeah. So, neat. Oh, <laughs> I, I just want to stop unboxing now and see what those are <laughs> worth. All right. One. Want do. Want do. Yep. It's a nice bag. It is. It's like a little. Ooh, it's uh, like a pea coat. Yeah, pea coat. That's it's a short pea short coat. Pea, short pea coat. But that's like an extra extra large. I don't think that's extra extra large. Uh, <laughs> an extra extra large mouse. <laughs> or an extra extra large kid. Maybe. <laughs> See. Uh, extra extra large. I have no idea how we're gonna solve this problem. Uh, uh, that's not. That, that is no definitely way. not large. That would be that's a like smaller small, medium. Yeah. So we'd have to sell this small, um, just put in there like there's an air. <laughs> or maybe if we look at it and we find it, it's actually for like youth or something. Because yeah. that would that would make sense yeah. if it's a youth. That could definitely extra, make sense. Extra, extra large. So next, I've got this fancy looking thing. Gore Opti Fade. Some kind of like a camo. Like a weird like print. It's not really camo, but I think it's supposed to kind of, it's like yeah. Minecraft camo or something. It is. It's very pixelated. Yeah. Um, this is warm. Yeah. It must be a, maybe a hunting jacket. It's very warm. Like I'm sticking my hand in here yeah. and it immediately feels warm. It's kind of like a heavier, like cozier, heavier material. I like that. What size is it? It's a uh, size extra large. And what is that? In the, what is that? A, uh... It's just a... I don't know wires maybe like uh, I don't know. There's a hole in there that yeah. you can put stuff through. Huh. I immediately thought headphones, but I'm like, why? You've got some very interesting stuff that feels very high dollar. I know it feels good. Yeah. I have a gigantic jacket Ooh, here. Oh, nice, nice color too. Better hope it's not my size. Oh, I don't like that furry, furry feeling. It does have a little fur. My around. sensory, my sensory is just I can't handle all the furry, furry. Oh, we grab that little the hood. Oh, the hood. Yeah. So the brand is uh, Valker. Some I don't know. Let's we're see. we're horrible with names. Valker. Yeah. Valker. Valker. I don't What's know that? what that was, but it's a size three X, and uh, it feels very plushy. And this comes uh, off, so that's yeah. nice. Okay, so it's like a little neck thingy. No, it goes on the hood, so you ah, can make it a, a, a faux I gotcha. You snap it on the top, and okay, you can make that, cool. or you can take it off and not use it. So if you don't like it, then you can take it off. That's like somebody neat. liked it. Yeah. That's awesome. nice. We have three and three? Yep. All right, let's BRB. Pretty sure I won this <laughs> round uh, three times over. So... Okay, this jacket, yeah. I, I, crazy. I had a hunch because I've seen this jacket uh, brand before and I knew it would be at least $200. Um, I didn't realize that it was going to be $299, so almost $300 for this jacket, which, I mean, it's a nice jacket. It's really nice. Uh, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to sell it for that. Um, but I, I want to make 240 after shipping and fees. So, you know, we'll accept offers a little bit lower than that. But 240 I think, would be good for this jacket. And I think I'd be happy with that. That's crazy. I mean, wouldn't you be happy with $240 for yeah. a jacket? I mean, I mean it's, it's why I bought these. Because <laughs> it was like, not a lot of items. 
Now this but one, I did. We did see it on the manifest. We always, we, we we always take the prices with a grain of salt because you just you just don't know. Um, but these two, we didn't actually really know, um, and this was really surprising. So the heated jacket. Don't ask me how it works. I'm not really quite sure. I kind of tried to figure it out, but I, I don't know. Maybe somebody who cycles motorcycles knows more than me. Um, but it is a pretty cozy looking jacket. So this one right here was selling for $249. <laughs> $249 on eBay. You can see the screenshot right over there. Um, and uh, so I'm hoping to make $200 off of this one. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> this is a, a very nice, very good quality bow hunting jacket. Um, and it's sold. This is a sold listing screenshot that you see over here. Um, about two eighty nine is the average that it sold for. However, most of these are selling for two ninety nine, about the same price as the other jacket over here. So I'm hoping to make two forty off of this guy as well. So with just these three items here, we have a potential profit of six hundred and eighty dollars. That's crazy. Which is like you know that right there has almost paid. That's for crazy. <laughs> So the Marmot jacket, it's the one that had the MSRP for $100, uh, and that's pretty accurate. They are selling online. Uh, there's one that sold for like $69.99 plus $7 shipping. I really like that jacket. I know. It's, it's nice. nice. And uh, so we're going to price ours at $74.99. It should make around $55, $60 profit once it does sell. And then we have... The Want Do jacket, the little peacoat breasted jacket. I don't know. I couldn't find this exact brand, uh, but I found the similar style, lots of styles that sold just like this. Uh, we're going to sell it as a small, uh, and we're going to list it for $29.99 and make $20 profit after it does sell. I'm wondering if because that's an Asian brand, yeah. that their sizing is different. I don't know how you get an extra, extra large. I don't know. Small, I, I'm just saying, like maybe yeah. there's maybe there's there's a reason for like a, a a cultural difference or something maybe. Yeah, and I don't know. This was actually some designer's jacket. Some I don't know something Valker. Uh, it's a three X. It's an odd size. Not to say odd size, but it's it's not common. Not common. So it's not like medium larges. So usually it's the non common sizes actually have a higher resale value. Uh, I couldn't find this exact color that had sold anywhere or even listed anywhere, but I have seen lots of the same jacket in different colors sell wide range of spectrum of prices. Uh, a lot of them pre-owned condition for like $60, $70, $80. Uh, I don't know exactly. This is where I don't know about clothing a lot. We're going to price ours for $69.99. Hope to make $50 after shipping and fees. If it sells very quickly, then I'll know that we priced it too low. Uh, <laughs> you know. That's the way it goes. <laughs> that's the way it goes. But that's part of the thing that we're learning with clothes. Uh, but still, $50. So my round, $125. <laughs> Nowhere close to her $680. But we're one, so we all win. <laughs> Try to get something right. Hold it down a little bit. No, nope, don't need hands. They're manifested lots, and I'm still excited and I'm still surprised because there's jackets on here that are worth more than what the manifest said. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let me get my stuff, my sheet together over here. All right. So this was actually a heated vest for men's or women's. I was correct. And the crazy thing is, is on eBay, there's one listed for like a hundred something dollars. There's no way it's going to sell for that much. But strangely enough, one just like this listed for that much. Uh, but it hasn't sold, nor do I think it will. But they are selling for anywhere from $25 to $35. So we'll price ours for $29.99. That's right, yes. I thought mm -hmm. I said a bigger number in my head. <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't sound right. And uh, should make $20 shipping and fees. For that one, we have the Mountain Warehouse. This is actually a, uh, a United Kingdom uh company so a lot of you guys that watch us from the united kingdom they may recognize uh, then the you'll brand. probably recognize this brand 
and uh, it's selling anywhere from different prices 80 70 80 90 bucks in there that typical we're, jacket yeah I like so it. we're gonna price it for 79.99 it should make 60 dollars after shipping and fees and then last but not least the frog togs frog togs <laughs> You know, the frog togs, waterproof, be prepared for everything in one garment, that frog togs. So these are selling 30 to 40 bucks. There's been two that have sold for 40, one for 30. I'm thinking the $40 price is the right price. So we'll go ahead and price it for 29, I'm sorry, 39.99 and should make around 25 to $30 profit after it sells. So my round was like $105, nowhere near what hers were. Look, I'm just surprised as crazy, you are. Crazy, <laughs> but uh, that's all the, the women's jackets. There's only nine of those. So I did the math. We're at $530 potential profit for the women's jackets. Remember, we paid $239 for those after shipping. So that's like almost $300 potential profit off of nine items, more than double our money, which is awesome. So it's crazy still. <clears throat> Uh, okay, uh, so we are finished with the women's box, but we still got about four more items in the men's box. So will you help me unbox? I get them? men's clothing. Sweet. Woo -woo! I'll go first though, since All that's right. been the uh, it's been pretty lucky so far. Yes. Um, this is Mountain Hardware. I don't know what it is if it's a vest or a jacket, but it's got that poofy like marshmallow jacket material. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a vest because just the, okay. the feeling of it. But it's really nice. It's nice. I see this lots is a of really around here wearing those. Really pretty color. Yep. I can imagine like you know somebody wearing like a long sleeve shirt and then having this Not on. Not me. No, you wouldn't. No. He doesn't like. It's a size small. Yeah, he doesn't like vests. Joe doesn't no. like vests. It accentuates his middle area. He says. It does. It makes me very, very. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We got a Kirkland sin signature. I don't that even know. That looks nice. I don't uh, that, even know. Whatever that color is, yeah. I like that color. It's like a brown, like an ob like a dark, like chestnut. No, chestnut's too light. I think it was like a grayish black. The bag didn't uh, do it justice. Okay, it is more of a gray. Yeah. There's a tint of brown in it, but it's definitely Size gray. medium. I like that jacket. If yeah, it was a larger size, I'd be like, I'm getting that jacket. Yeah, this is totally your style. Yeah, yeah I is. like that. But size medium, signature. It's almost like a motorcycle type jacket or something. I don't even know. It's got it's got that water resistant outside, but then yep. it's got a like a, a very warm, cozy inside. I yep. like it. Dark charcoal is the color name. But it's heathered. Um, you don't know what heathered means. I don't but heathered, even know. It's you see how it's not solid. There's like little specks of it, like a lighter color. That's called heathered. Ah. And it's got a three layer structure also, if that wasn't even better. Ooh. And it's 100% windproof. Ooh. So. All right guys, two more. I think this is another vest. It's small, whatever it is. It's, 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 it's... Nope, it's an actual jacket. It's just really, really lightweight. Wait, wait. Um, definitely more of like a windbreaker jacket. It's short. Ultra. And it has the longer sleeves, so. Yeah. Size medium. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's, it, I don't know that it's gonna keep you super, super warm, but it'd be great to go under something that yeah. keeps you super, super warm. And this doesn't Last look like a jacket item. at all. Last item, I bet it's a vest. I think we just got a whole bunch of vests at the bottom. I was right, it's a vest. It's like a fishing vest or a? I don't know. Yeah. Little outdoorsy vest, Olympia, Olympina, Olympina, Olympina. <laughs> it's, it's not, a, so it's not Olympia. So many room to store yes, things. Yes, lots of pockets. And extra it is large. a size extra large. That's nice. I like but that. I can y'all see me wearing this? No, that is so. Got my you. box knife. Got my pen. My cell phone. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's find out exactly how much these last four items cost, and let and then we'll come up with some totals. Yeah. All right, guys. Last two items. Um, pretty happy with them. They're they're not they're not you know crazy, but they're they're really good. Typical selling product. So I've got this mountain mountain hardware. Um, I found it. They're selling anywhere from like seventy eighty dollars brand new. So we'll do the same. Hope to get a good fifty dollars from this, which is a great deal. Great deal. Um, and then this last one 
is, you know, I guess it's like an insulating jacket. Um, I found it on sale for $88. Um, so we'll list ours for $79.99. Um, and then I uh, hope to make, how much did I say we were going to make on this? 60 bucks. 60 bucks? Yeah. Then we're going to make six, try to make $60 off of this and I'll be so totally happy. So these two items totaling $110. Yeah. And my, my two jackets here, I've got the Kirkland signature jacket. It looks a lot nicer than what it's actually selling for. So evidently the Kirkland, Kirkland signature, um, I may try and find one in my size because this jacket's only selling for like $19.99 wow, on eBay. What? So yeah. Uh, but that's what they're all priced for. They've been selling for that much. So we'll go ahead and do the same. Hopes to make $10 profit for it. And then the Olympiana Jack little vest. There's one that has been sold for $17.99. And then there's a blue one that's listed for like $40 from the United Kingdom. Uh, I think the $17 is probably more accurately priced. So we'll go ahead and price it for $19.99. Hopes to make $12 profit. So potential profit for my round, $22 for these two men's jackets. Oh. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm first. What do y'all think so far? of this like we're halfway through and uh i don't even know what what was your math at i got 425 dollars i know it. and uh 425 plus 700 so we're at 1125 dollars potential profit already so we're already like 200 three almost 300 dollars in the profit and we still have i don't know half the box to go on each of them so I'm okay. excited. My turn. There's this. Is that a jacket? It's a very tiny jacket. <laughs> it's a it's so tiny. It's <laughs> uh, I don't. What is that? It's like a, a handwritten tag. What? Four zero eight six four thirty. That kind of rem it makes me feel like this was like in a. That's weird. That is weird. Um, there's no original tags on this at all. Like these are all something different yeah it's like the uh amazon fba thing there so that's crazy yeah this one this is weird uh, i don't imagine this is going to be cost very much it's very very thin the material feels not cheap it doesn't feel cheap but it doesn't feel like that high quality you know like with those other other yeah it, it's not that dense it's not it doesn't feel you know it doesn't feel cheap but it, it definitely doesn't have that high quality yep. feel to it so I've got some heated clothing. Ooh, very good, very good. Well, I don't know if it actually is or not, but you know. Winter is coming. <laughs> winter maybe, is coming. Maybe it's actually a winter jacket and they just translated it wrong. Yeah. It's not heated clothing. Yeah. Winter is coming, brace yourselves. Is that what it Buy one of these jackets. No, you know that meme? You know, yeah, from Game of Thrones. Yeah, like winter is coming. You know, that's how I, I thought it I said brace about. yourselves on there. Oh that's no, was that was asking. that was me. It's an interesting bag for a. Uh, I know it's like a bubble mailer heat bag. Uh oh. What? Well, I broke the little zipper thingy oh. on the bag. I guess it wasn't really a big uh oh. This feels. Ooh, nice. that does feel that. Wait, it's got a button on it. It's a vest. Oh, it's a heated button. It's it a button is a, a heated, heated vest. Oh, I wonder if that means it's gonna cost a lot. Why are people coming up with stuff like this? And why have I not figured I don't know, it out? Vin look, Mori? and you can expand it. Look, ah. like this is like maybe like a ah. one size. You can take the zipper off, and then you can attach it to any one of these other zippers to make it fit you. Neato. That's Neato. so cool. Yeah. I don't need one. But that's awesome. It, I mean, this it is like my. It could go for a guy or a girl. This is my heated vest right here. Yeah. Except during the summer, she's like, quit pushing your heat on me. But during apparently, the winter, when it gets cold, she's like, come near me. Keep me warm. I'm cold. Apparently, I can't regulate my own body heat. Yeah. So. Aren't snakes like that? Yeah. I'm not calling you a snake. You just said I was. Little... <laughs> did you just call me cold blooded? I, I think I did, unfortunately. I love you. You're not cold blooded. We all know he loves me. <laughs> He just needs but to I think. Did, he needs I, to think before he speaks. I did call her a snake. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a snake. snake. <laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> if y'all don't know what we're talking about, we look really dumb to you. If you guys have not seen that yeah. video, that viral video, we look really dumm. <laughs> I'm a sweathery little snake a snake. 
I'm so slither and snake because I'm a snake. <laughs> hey, and whoever's editing the video, if you could find a little clip of that, I'm a slither and snake. Oh, yeah. That would be super awesome yeah. if you could do that. Okay, back into our regular yeah. schedule programming. Anyway, so I got this. This is a nice color. Does this look good Ooh, on little me? little poofy marshmallow jacket thingies. I like the poofy. This yeah. is for a man, but I like the poofy. Oh, I forgot. You... Okay, I was so confused. I was like, I'm doing the men's because I thought the jacket, you know, men's. I don't know. My brain just... Men's transcend... Transcendent hoodie. Oh, you can transcend with this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're wearing this, This though. jacket. It's called Outdoor Research... I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing, okay, here we go. Let's see, do I, no MSRP on here at all. So oh. this will be a surprise. All right. Okay, so let's go. Okay, you can't guess. Just wanna know what it is. It is a woman's jacket. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I what would I do without you? I have no idea. No idea. Oh, that's a nice color too. I'm liking these jackets, like. So it's got the hood that is detachable, so that's nice. I don't like hoods on my jackets. I do. And uh Mountain Warehouse is yeah. what it's called. This is this is thick. It's thick. It's I, I can't I, I I'd be willing I like this. Mountain it's got Warehouse cut. Snow. What size is it? Can it be mine? Size six. Nope, not mine. Bad. So was that like a size small, medium? Uh it depends on the brand. So it could there be we a small go. or medium. Size six. Nice little jacket, snow jacket. I bet it's super warm. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm gonna have to get me one like that. I like it because the cuffs. Yeah. The, it comes with these little cuffs on the side. Like it's got a regular jacket, but then it's got a cuff underneath it because I don't like the cold creeping up my arms. Yes, she does not. Look, it's a matching maroon and navy men's ah, jacket. Yeah. Except for that one's Gore-Tex. So this one's probably worth something. Yeah. Something, something. I'm finding a trend. Anytime that the, the jacket has Gore-Tex, uh-oh. Look at this brand, y'all. It's the same brand as a $300 jacket, and we, it feels nice. So, yeah. like, y'all, if you guys like high-quality clothes, I would highly recommend that you get one of these Arc-T-Rex Arc brands because it feels yeah. nice. It, it does. feels really nice. I never knew there was a difference uh, in like the feeling of a cheap jacket versus like a well made Well, just made in clothing jacket. in general, uh, I never really understood it until I started really messing with yeah. the higher quality items and I'm like, okay, I see now why yeah. it costs more. And um, you can feel the difference. Yes, this is nice. This is It's like a rain jacket. It's thin. You probably have to wear something underneath it for warmth, but great but for it's rain. it's vortex. It's like insulated. Yeah. So like it's oh, thin. It's thin, but it's very insulated. And it's, this hoodie is fitted too. Yeah. So you've got like a little thing on the back that you can make the hood fit you. Sweet. That's pretty cool. And it's- That's for a mountain this cool. man. This is cool. It's got like a an installed visor on the hood. That's cool. Every jacket we've got from them has been at least a $299 jacket. Mm, so, 250, yeah. And then the Frog other one we did, do you know them? No, I just really oh. wanted to say it when I read it. <laughs> Frog talk. I was trying to wait for you to finish, but no. it just, my brain was like, I want to say that word. She couldn't wait. She was so excited. Frog talks. It's a woman's all purpose suit. It's a whole suit? I don't know. You, you can wouldn't wear know. You, you can wear it to any know. occasion. Wear it to a wedding, wear it to a birthday party. It is a whole suit. Yeah. Um,. But this is a weird material. It feels like that packing paper almost. I don't understand. It's rain gear. Be prepared for everything with one garment. With Dry Pour Gen 2, the entire range of Frog Togs rain gear is lighter and stronger than ever. Frog Togs, coming to a retailer near you. I was gonna say that! <laughs> I was you? gonna say that! That exact thing? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Designed for you, created for the outdoors. Dun, dun, dun. We're not sponsored by Frog Togs, but here you go. So that's kind of unique. So it is two piece, it's got the pants and the jacket. So it's rain gear. This is size extra large, cherry black. And it has its own 
hanger. We got a hanger. <laughs> we never have enough hangers. I mean, we would if we go through and get rid of a lot of the clothes that we never wear. Because I hey, would like I've the same that. five shirts in those like a full closet. Y'all know that head scratch she's doing? It's every time that we find stuff that's like ridiculously priced. It's not ridiculously priced. It's just I, I am so cheap. Our average sales price for our online store is around $35. <laughs> so when we get expensive items like this, it's not the norm. Like, let me just, let me just tell you a little bit. I just need you to get into the mind of me. Okay. I need boots. I've had my one pair of $49, $99 boots for five years. I'm talking, I have super glued those soles together. I have sharply yeah. marked all the spots. I have cleaned them more times than we I can count. And it's gotten to a point last year, I was halfway through the winter and I just wore double socks, but they weren't even keeping my feet dry anymore. Yeah. Okay, so it's time for me to get new ones. And I've been on this journey for about a month. Joe says, buy the boots. And I'm like, yeah, you know, do I need boots this winter? I do. <laughs> I do need, but okay. We saw the sign, winter is coming. Yeah, so I do need to get boots and I will get boots, right? But it's just like when I get stuff like this, it's just so like against, it's like so far out of my character that like I forget that other people don't have the same, you know, thought processes with clothes. Anyway, so let's just move oh. on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just move on. Um, this one is, is, Okay, it was typical. This is a Foot Joy. I looked it up on the manifest. I had to because I couldn't find it anywhere and I did not recognize the FJ and what that meant. Um, so this is just a golf shell, like a golf shell jacket. Um, so I couldn't find this exact one. I did find a few that were very, very similar. Uh, took some screenshots for it. Um, and they're selling for like 60 to $65. So I'm going to list ours for $64.99. Hope to get $50 from it. Um, and then this one right here is a, uh, it's called Outdoor Research. Um, it's a nice jacket. It's really, it's really nice. I, I figured it would be worth something. Um, but I found this selling on Amazon for $225. Um, and so I'm going to try and do the same. Um, hope to make $175 off of this, which is great. Um, and I'm really thankful it's almost winter time. So I'm hoping that these will sell fairly quickly. And then finally... This is the one, okay? Like the 225, that's a little pricey, but I can kind of get it. It's like, I don't know. But this this brand, I'm telling you, there is something about this brand because not only does it sell um, for a high price, but then the reviews are just really good. Um, this, this is like a Gore-Tex, like rain style jacket. This brand, I, like I said, it's really nice. Um, <laughs> but it's... It's selling for like five hundred and ten dollars. Uh, so that was just that was that was a little intense for me. Um, it took me a minute. So you know, I'm gonna try and sell this online um, on our store for four ninety nine. Um, but if I can get anything over three hundred dollars for this after shipping and fees, I will be so happy. Um, so with these three items um, all added together for this batch and just those three jackets. That's another $525 in potential. Ah. All right, guys, and that is it. So we had those 13 items from our men's. We already talked about our total for the women's. Yep. Um, so for our men's, we're at like $1,430, $1,430. Yeah. Remember, nice. we were all in for a little over $800. So I like what I'm seeing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So the total numbers for the total potential profit for, for both boxes is $1,987, right? What so that's like $1,100 profit. I'll probably be doing a lot of these listings uh, because we've got to change some things around with our listing process. So I'm not going to have Winnie do that. So there's no labor for it on this one. It's all me. So I'm excited about it. Yeah. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing with us again today. We yeah. love unboxing with you. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. We release unboxings multiple times a week. And if you're ever interested in how this stuff sells or how we go about selling it, don't forget, we also have vlogs for you to watch yeah. too. So until next time, 